23, the pressure of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Bobby Joe Ajero, was abducted by officers and men of the Imbo State Police Command at the behest of the state governor from the NSC State Council Secretariat in Owele, while waiting for his colleagues to join him for a peaceful protest rally. They came in a convoy of vehicles and gun trucks, hooded her arm to the teeth. Our leader, Comrade Joe Adjero, was blindfolded, beaten to a pop, brutalized, humiliated, and violated by the police personnel, and taken to unknown destination, where he was subjected to more battering and torture, as well as threatening with death before help who came in his way. Fear the National Security Advisor, Mr. Nuru, the value who order for his immediate release. However, due to the severity of his injuries, the police are taking him to the police headquarters, where we made contact with him at 3.30 p.m. At the time of our first contact with Komejo Ajero, his right eye was popped, black and short, one of his ears has tiny trace of dry blood. His speech was blurred and incorrect. He had words of all over him. He did not recognize the people around him and he could not walk without being what? Aided or supported. Invariably, he had to be taken to Federal Medical Center Owori, in Dimo State for, for, for further investigation. At Federal Medical Center, Kondiajero, after he was stabilized, was referred to investigation, a head and brain scan, a full body scan, chest x-ray, a full body scan, and cervical spine therapy, among others investigations, and promptly fitted with a neck collar. Ladies and gentlemen, Comrade Jero was not the only one beaten and arrested by the police, but he was the major target. Dawes received the most bestial and repressive treatment. He was stripped of his dignity as a human being and as a president of this Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC. He was also stripped of his personal items, including the phones, money, and other electronic gadgets. His vehicle was smashed and tires report. Others who were also with him were beaten by the police, including workers. The TVC crew who were arrested and detained, they had their cameras seized for filming and being in possession of evidence the police could not want the whole world to see. The arrived TV crew narrowly escaped being brutalized. And they are who not sent by the state government as stationed themselves around the streets, including the sectarians, where were beaten up workers who had reported at the sectarians and dispensing them of their personal items, including money and phones and laptops. We are worried that it has come criminal for workers in Nigeria to gather for a peaceful protest when Section 40 of the Nigeria Constitution and the International Convention, like the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the African Chapter on Human and People's Rights, including High Low Convention 87 and 98, guarantees the right to freedom of association and the right of, to bargaining collectively. It is more absurd that these infractions will even happen at all and still continue to happen, especially when Nigeria sits as the chairman of the government board of the ILO. Accordingly, about this already head continue of Comrade Ajero, our leader, outraged by the bestial treatment method on him to workers, including Ajero, and journalists by the police and the Mimo state government. Stunned by this complicity of a federal agency such as Nigeria Police, irritated by the defense of the Mimo state police command, that the only took Comrade Ajo Ajero into protective custody from where he emerged, battered 
consumed, pork, hide, debated and condemned. That is the police. Worried by this constitutional silence of the federal government and the aloofness of the federal security agency, who were formally notified of our presence in the Mose, they were removed to take steps to offer protection. So I, I would like my colleagues, our Commissioner of Police, Imo State Command, CP Ahmed Bade, should not only be investigated and redeployed out of Imo State for his serious uh, complicitous and unprofessional behavior and conduct immediately. Two, the area command of Nigeria Police Force and all other officers and men in Oweri through whom the police commissioner supervised the brutalization and humiliation of Comrade Ajiro and other workers, the relief of his office and strip of its commission. Three, Mr. Mwaneri Chinesa, advisor on special duty who supervised the terror on workers and racial brutality meted to the corporate president, Comrade Joe Ajiro, be arrested immediately and prosecuted for his crime against workers and the president. Four, we demand an immediate, independent, and unbiased, thorough professional medical examination of Comrade Ajero in light of his physical and psychological injuries inflicted upon him. Five, other workers and journalists subjected to his inhuman treatment by the police and the hope whose are the mass group be treated by the states and all the properties lost be restored immediately. All outstanding industrial relations issues as preciously agreed the Illimitate government be implemented immediately. We further resolve that in the events the government fell to comply with any or all the conditions above stated, NLC, TUC, and their affiliates will no longer guarantee industrial peace and harmony in Nigeria, beginning Wednesday, 8th of November, 2023, while a joint national executive council next meeting of the two labor centers will meet to decide the next course of action. We find it appropriate to let Nigerians know the sequence of events that leads to uh, going to Imo State for peaceful protest, but which was aborted by police and hoodlum recruited by the state government. These have become necessary so they do not fall victim to government's propaganda or police disinformation and misinformation. We had police fictions that we disobey court order, but we want to know which court order. Our lawyer was in court last week, and the matter was adjourned till today. Let us assume there was a court order. When was it granted, and where was it granted? How was the order obtained, and on whom was it served, and when? Comrade, let us assume there was a court order. Now, back to the sequence of events that leads to our uh, going to a wedding. One, government repeatedly observed in breach agreement it voluntarily reached with labor, among which was the January 9th, 2021, about uh, two years ago. Two, non-payment of salaries and pension for upward of 22 months, in some instance, 42 months. Three, declaration of 11,000 hard workers as ghost workers. and the diversion of their salaries and a monument to other uses. Four, 
serial vandalization of Congress Secretariat for no just cause, as we have seen. Five, non-implementation of national minimum wage law causing this distortion and pains among working class in the state. Six, implementation of discriminatory pay policy and practice which depends which depends poverty. Seven, the backlog of gratuity areas stretching to eight years. Eight, government continued harassment, intimidation of workers or their executive. Nine, non remittance of check-off dues or misappropriation of check-off dues by government. Ten, frequent interference by government in internal matter of trade unions to the point government wants to decide who occupies which posts. 11. Systemic intimidation of trade unions and trade union leaders, dismantling of trade union structure, regular bullying and beating of workers and denying them access to the fruits of their hard labor. Gentlemen of the press, what they are accustomed to is the butcher of solution, which we are better of without. For long victory, there is victory for us. In the struggle, in the struggle for our empire, there is victory for us. Forward, forward.